this video, I'm going to go over how to add and customize a team member element to your website. So I'm going to add an element here. I'm just going to search for team. There they are. So you can see it defaults to a pretty large image here. That's the first thing I'm going to change. So I'm going to scroll down here. And uh, we usually like to set the image to one by one, which means it's a perfect square because most profile pictures are a perfect square. So I can set that. So now whenever I change the width of the image, the height scales automatically. So that's a good width right about there. You can see uh, changing the radius changes how round the image is. So if you want a perfectly square, you can set it to zero. And if you want it to be a perfectly round image, you set it to 100. So now that we have that out of the way and we can see everything that we're customizing, I'm going to go back up to the top here. You can select the image of the team member I want. So let's just say that they are the team member. They're very important. So this is where you set the team member's name. You can see it updates on the website right there. This is the team member's title, so the position they have. So and we can even set the depth here. So you can see the more depth I add, uh, it makes the entire team member element. Uh, by default, they're 100% wide, but I can change how wide it is here. So if you wanted team member elements to have a shadow, you can do that. You can also have team member elements have a shadow on hover. So whenever I do that and I hover over it, you can see that it raises up and it has a little bit of a shadow. That's nice for interaction. If you have a lot beside each other, you can uh, make it easier for the user to see which one they're reading at and stay consistent. So then here we have the social icons. Um, you can uh, share the uh, team members Facebook page, Instagram page, uh, company email, things like that. So you can see if I start typing a link here, the Facebook icon appears, uh, an email address, a phone number here. You can see they all pop up here. Then you can change the style based on what you want. So if I want it to be a fill, I can do that. Or small, I can do that if you want a minimal uh, social icons look. Down here, if you want there to be a link, if you want this to link to, uh, for example, a person's bio page, you can do that right here. You can add the link to that. You can have it open in the same window or a new browser tab, depending on how you want your users to flow through your website. Here's where you can set the image height, width, and radius, which we did earlier. We can also change the image size. So this is the size of the image that's loaded from the back end. Um, if it's a smaller image, generally recommend choosing medium just because the actual file size is smaller. And for people with slow internet connections, it will load faster. And for people with all internet connections, it's less data overall in case they're on a, on a data tight connection. Here we can set an image overlay. So if I set a color here, you can see that it becomes solid, but then I can change this slider here can see that now that color becomes more and more transparent and then less and less transparent as I move it left to right, which is pretty nice in case you have text directly on top of that image and it's not so readable with its current state. So hover here, these are hover effects for the image. So if I were to select glow here, if I were to hover over, you can see that it doesn't really do a lot to this image, but some images glow really makes it shine. But we can also do things like blur, so if I were to hover over this image, you see that the image blurs. We have some alternate effects here, just in case the first one doesn't work. I'll set these back to none here. And for text, this is where we can align the text. So we can make it left, right, or center align. And set the text size here in case we want it to be really big or really small. We can set some text hover effects. So for example, you can have it just be their team member photo, and whenever they hover their cursor over it, that's whenever their details show up. You can set it to zoom in. You can set it to a lot of good different effects here, depending on how you want users to interact with your page. You can set a background color for it here. So you can see as I change this color, the text portion of the team member name changes. So this allows, uh, this allows us to create a details panel where their photo is separated from their details in case we wanted to do that. This is where we can set the text color. Of course, it's set to dark right now because I'm on a light background. But in case if I'm on a dark background, I can switch it to light. Now all the text and everything is white. We can add additional padding to the text in case we want it to be a little bit further away from the image. Or if we do have a background color, I will select one here just to emphasize it. If we do have a background color and I add some padding here. You 
you can see that now there's a little bit more room between the edge of this colored section and the text. So this allows you to add some more breathing room. And as you can see, as I change it, that's what padding is right there. That emphasizes that. Then down here at the bottom, we can change the class. Um, if you're familiar with CSS, you can enter a class name here and then target in your site's custom CSS editor. And then lastly, we have the visibility, so we can change how this appears on different size devices. For example, if you don't want it to show up with someone using it on their phone, you can set that option right here. This makes sure that everybody has the best experience no matter what device they're on. If you have any questions on this or need any help, please feel free to contact us. We'll be more than happy to help. Thank you.